guys, welcome back to my channel. I love filming any kind of video that is similar to this one because I get to talk about my all-time favorite products and why they are my all-time favorite products. And today I'm gonna to be talking about products that I will always have in my routines in various aspects of beauty. So I picked out three products for the categories of hair, makeup, and skincare, and I have one fragrance that I'm gonna talk about at the very end. But again, these are just products that have made such a difference in whatever category I'm talking about that I really do not foresee not having them in my routine in some form or function forever for as long as I'm using beauty products. So let's go ahead and jump in. I am going to start with hair. And the first product that I'm gonna talk about is one that I've talked about before. This section of the video is in partnership with Zuvi. And I'm gonna be talking about the Zuvi Halo Hair Dryer. Again, this is not the first time that I've talked about this product. A lot of y'all have purchased this product since I've talked about it and told me how much you love it. This is a game changer for your hair. Really, if you have any kind of hair, but especially if you have my kind of hair, which is thin, getting thinner, fine. And did I mention getting thinner? <laughs> because that's the main point. <laughs> what sets this dryer apart is the fact that it does not dry your hair with heat, it dries it with light. Now this is going to be a little loud, but I want to turn it on for you, not only to show you how loud it is, because I've gotten that question before, but also to show you the light that comes off of this hair dryer. See that? That light is what dries your hair. Because of that, it dries it up to 39 degrees cooler than traditional hair dryers. And that's one of the main reasons that I love it because especially in the dead of summer, it is not fun to dry your hair with a super hot hair dryer. It just makes you sweat. And the older I get, the more I sweat for no reason at all. So I love having an option of cutting that out of my routine in any form or fashion. They claim that this is like air drying your hair, but at a faster rate. And I totally believe that. The difference is I don't like air drying my hair. I've talked about this before. Even though it doesn't take long for my hair to air dry, it gets this like curve in it. It doesn't look right. It's I can even not use a brush while actually drying my hair and it's still gonna look better than if I air dry it. There's just something about the shape that it takes that I don't like. So the fact that this is basically the same as air drying your hair, but that I get a better look at the end is also another reason I love it. And all of the claims that they have from studies that they have done have shown true to my hair. For example, they say you have 109% more moisture while using the Zuvi Halo Hair Dryer. Your hair is 38% shinier, 17% smoother, and you have up to 57% longer color retention, which is, important to me because I do get a balayage. So I do color my hair. Highly, 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 highly recommend this. I use it every time I dry my hair. My kids use it now and love it and they've got way more hair than I do. And another thing that I love about this is that there are a lot of different options when buying it. So I have the gentle air attachment on right now, which it just clips right on pops right off, very easy to put the attachments on. And it also comes with a styling concentrator attachment, but you have the choice whether or not you get the diffuser, you have a choice whether or not you get the travel bag, whether or not you get the wall mount, and you can even choose to just get the halo with no attachments whatsoever at all varying price points, which I love because it's basically customizing your hair dryer experience. So I cannot recommend Zuvi enough. Definitely something I will forever have in my hair care routine. I will have it listed, linked, everything you need to know down in the description box below. Another item that I have recently, and when I say recently, I wanna say probably three to four months ago, started incorporating in my hair routine and have seen a huge difference is K18. Now this is not new. Olaplex came out first with this like bonding product that really just helped repair your hair. And then K18 came out with what they said was an even better version. This is a leave-in mole molecular repair hair mask. And this is why I love it. When I went to my hairdresser, probably 
again, four months ago probably, I was telling her how, and I've mentioned this on my channel before, how in the shower I was having such a hard time when washing my hair with it not only coming out at a higher rate than it normally did, but also it wasn't like my full strand of hair that was coming out. I could tell that it was pieces that were breaking off because they were only like that long. I don't have many strands of hair on my head that are that long and it was consistently coming out like that. They were breaking off. So my hairdresser was like, have you tried K18? And I said, well, you know, I have like when it first launched, they sent it to me, but I didn't know if I was really using it right. I didn't know if it was really doing anything. And she was like, you've got to start using it. She had it. She used it on my hair that day. She said, every four or five washes, do this. The trick is to do, to use one pump and really, really, really massage it into your hands until it turns white. Like it almost looks like a cream versus the gel that it pumps out as. And I would say that probably takes 20 to 25 seconds of really warming it up on your hands. And then rub it all through your hair. I start mid lengths to ends. Whatever I have left over, I will put up into my roots as well. You leave it in for four minutes and then you can go on with your normal routine. Add anything else you wanna put into your hair, any styling products, dry your hair, don't dry your hair, doesn't matter, but you need to make sure you leave it on for that four minutes and only put it on shampooed hair. So they really suggest and say that it only works, or not only works, but works definitely to the best of its ability. If it's on hair that doesn't have conditioner or any kind of masks or anything like that that you had used in the shower. So I will only use shampoo. I will use this every fifth, wash, which turns out to be about every 10 days. So I use it a, a few times a month and I have seen probably a 90% reduction in breakage of my hair. It's actually kind of crazy. And this bottle I have used again for four months and I still have some left. So it's going to last you a long time. They have a bigger bottle too that I think I might get next time. And I foresee that probably lasting me a year. It's made a huge difference in my hair. I highly recommend. I have not tried any other K18 products. I think they have like shampoos and stuff now, but the mask, 100% recommend. And then finally for my hair, I do not foresee me ever not having some kind of hair growth product in my routine. I have two favorites of those, and that is the Hyel Complete Recovery Complex Serum and the Definage 150K Hair Follicle Serum. So I kind of use these both. This one is a little bit thicker than the high L. It's also smaller. Now you can get this in a package of three, so it's going to last longer. But what I do is I use this on my temples right here where I've, I tend to get a little bit of recession in my hairline. And then I will use this on, you know, all parts of my hair. They are both water-based. They have no oil. They're not going to leave you feeling heavy or sticky, but I see results with both of them and I love both of them. I've tried other hair growth serums and these are by far my favorite for actually seeing new growth come in after using them consistently. So I want a hair dryer that is not going to be super hot and damage my hair. I want a mask that is going to help protect me from future damage and fix current damage. And I want some products that are gonna help me grow new hair because I can use all the new hair I could get. <laughs> So that is the hair category. Let's move on to skincare. I have three categories with a few options in each. I will run through them quickly because I've talked about them all in the past, but definitely didn't even need to think about these very long at all, like two seconds. And I knew what my three picks would be because they are that important in my routine. And I have extensive skincare routines because I love it, not necessarily because I need it, but because I love it. So I have a lot to choose from. And these three were definitely the first. The first category that is by far the most important of any skincare routine is SPF. If you spend any kind of money on your skincare and don't use an SPF, you're wasting the money you spend on your skincare. It's not going to do anything for you. You are going outside and damaging your skin. Said it 5,000 times. If you're someone who doesn't believe in SPF, thinks the sun is a healer, versus something that can give you skin cancer. And I'm not saying the sun's a bad thing. Obviously we would all die without it, but it gives skin cancer, people. And if you're one of the people that doesn't believe that, think sunscreens are you know horrible and that they're all killing us, I'm not the channel for you. And that's okay, because I'm sure there's plenty of other channels that agree with you. 
I'm not one of them. My favorite SPFs as of this moment. Now I will tell you, I just got a new corner piece, like three tier organizational piece for my bathroom counter and the entire top row is SPFs. So I have a lot to choose from and this changes as I use them as the seasons go by. But my favorite ones as of right now are as follows. My favorite K Beauty sunscreen is the Numbuzzin Clear Filter Sun Essence Number no. One. This one is almost empty. This is like my third bottle. I have one on backup. This is to me one of the most cosmetically elegant sunscreens under makeup. There's no pilling. I can layer 18 layers of skincare under this and it's still gonna sink into my skin beautifully. There's no tint to this. I love the studies that Numbuzzin posts on their website about the effectiveness of this. It is just hands down my favorite. Now it is not what I would consider water resistant. So this is not one that I would wear to the beach or the pool, but every day type of sunscreen, this is the one I probably reach for the most. Now, if I am wanting something that is a little more matte, even though the Numbuzzin is kind of natural, I will reach for my ultraviolet SPF 50 lean screen mineral mattifying fragrance free sunscreen. I am almost out of this tube. I have one on backup. I've tried a few different ultraviolet sunscreens. I actually have the hydrating one on today. This one is my favorite. It is blurring on the skin. It is mattifying, but it doesn't pill. Takes a little bit more time to rub in, but I don't even care. It is gorgeous. And it doesn't have a tint in the form of like a makeup type tint, but there's something about it that, I don't know, once you rub it into the skin, it kind of takes the redness down a little bit without providing a color if that makes sense. Highly, highly, highly recommend Ultraviolet. Oh, they're so good. And then finally, this is the newest SPF that I have in my collection, and it is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios UV Moon 400. This is a European sunscreen. Someone commented on one of my videos where I talked about another Ultraviolet and said, I'm gonna stick to what you can get in the States. There's a reason you can't buy the other ones in the States. Yeah, that reason is the FDA is way, like way, if I could speak in capital letters, I would do it with exclamation points at the end, behind on sunscreen filters. A new one has not been approved since 1999. Y'all, that's when I graduated high school. That's been like 25 years. We need to step up our game while other countries have been stepping up their game, finding more effective modern filters and putting them in their products. And that's what I like to use. So this you cannot get in the States, but it's very easy to access on a website that I will link below. It's where I purchased it and I got it very quickly. It comes in a tinted version, a non-tinted version, very, very thin, sinks in very fast, and is said to include the most effective sunscreen filter of this time. So highly recommend that as well. Now, the second most important thing in my routine, aside from SPF, because again, if I'm using this, what I'm about to talk about and not SPF, I'm ruining my skin. But this is going to be a retinoid of some kind. Now, I don't personally recommend retinol. It is actually the most irritating to my skin out of all of the retinoids that are available. I will either choose to use a retinol, retinol to hide, or tretinoin. And I use both. I am actually up to using tretinoin every other night now. And on the nights that I don't use that, I will use a retinol. Tretinoin is prescription only. It is the gold standard of retinoids. It is the most researched. It has 50 years of studies behind it. It makes the biggest difference. But not everybody can use tretinoin without getting irritated because it is so effective and so potent. I just use the 0.025%. This is uh, tretinoin that I got from nurks.com. But again, if you don't want to use that, your skin can't handle it. These are my two favorite retinaldehydes. We've got Truology A squared. Retinaldehyde is a step down from tretinoin, a step up from retinol in efficacy. But it also is way less irritating to the skin than retinol, especially on me. But this is the Retinal Serum 0.2% from Truology, and it has retinaldehyde, peptides, antioxidants. It is your one and done serum. If you're someone who likes to cleanse your face, use a serum and then use a moisturizer. This is the one to choose. It is fabulous. 
Another one that you can see I love because I'm almost out of this and I can't even tell you how many tubes I've gone through is the Medicaid Crystal Retinol. This is in 10, which is 0.1%. They have a 20, which is 0.2%, the same as the Truology. This one doesn't have as many added peptides and antioxidants in it, but I still love it. The formula is elegant. It smells good to me. I have always had amazing results with Medicaid and will probably always have it in my collection at some point point. It's fabulous. So again, a retinoid, it, it, every time someone asks me, what do you suggest that I add? I really want to step up my skincare game. 1000%, I'm making sure you're using an SPF and then it's a retinoid. I mean, it's going to be the thing that changes your skin the most, in my opinion. And the final skincare ingredient or category is going to be a hydrating toner. I have really gotten into that category in the past 18 months and it has made a world of difference in my skin. It has enabled me to get up to every other night using tretinoin and not peel, not flake, not have any irritation. And I have so many favorites. I will likely probably do a skincare spotlight on toners and essences all by themselves. But right now my favorites are the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. I'm almost out of this. This one is more of an essence consistency. It's a little bit thicker than the next one I'm gonna talk about. It even says the first essence. It can be layered on top of itself over and over and over again. It just sinks into the skin, plumps everything up, adds that hydration, and is fabulous. Now, they have two versions of this. One of them has like essential oils and fragrance. This is not that. This, this is the one that's free of alcohol and fragrance, and I love it. Another one that I just started using I'm only halfway through the mini size and I've already purchased the large size is the I'm from Mugwort Essence. So I'm from is the brand and this is their Mugwort line within the brand. Mugwort is antibacterial, it's antifungal, it's good if you have like fungal acne, any kind of breakouts. This has been phenomenal since I have started incorporating this. It doesn't look like I've used this much, but I, this is probably about two weeks worth for knocking down the texture of my skin, helping knock out breakouts way faster when they happen than before I started using this. It's a little bit more of a toner consistency, but I still use my hands to apply it. And I will use these in the same routine. I'll use this first, wait like a minute, let it sink in, and then I'll put this on top of it. But again, I have so many toners and they have just done so much for my skin. It has been something that has significantly made a difference in how I use products, what products I use, and how my skin reacts to all of them. A need, a must have, in my opinion. Now let's move on to makeup. I will not spend a ton of time on these because you have all seen them multiple times, but I do have a couple of cutaways. I forgot to, cut, to film the cutaway of this one, but honestly, you can go to any of my get ready with me's and see the difference it makes, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. Can I talk about this anymore? This is in Radiant Light. They do have different colors. This is my favorite one because it warms up my skin and I really like using it if I have a foundation that is a little bit too light. This is a filter and a compact. That's what I like to call it because that's what it does for my skin. Not only does it help, I use this as a buffing step, as a finishing powder. So at the very end of my powder product application on my face, I will take a duo fiber brush. I will put this on the brush, really load it up, and I will go to town buffing pretty hard, like a pretty you know, heavy pressure, and it will take away any harsh lines I have on my skin for my bronzer or blush. It will meld everything into the skin, and it applies this beautiful sheen slash filter over the skin that is, in my opinion, beautiful and a must have. You can get other of these colors if you wanted to set your under eyes with it. If you want to use it as a setting powder, that's totally up to you. But my favorite way to use it is as a finishing buffing step. The next two products I do have cutaways to, and you will not be surprised with this one. This is the Chantecaille Future Skin Gel Foundation. This one right here is in the shade Vanilla, and I am almost out literally scraping the bottom of the jar, but have no fear, I do have a backup. Because not only do I love this for foundation, which you will see in the cutaway, it's what I have on today, underneath the next product I'm gonna talk about. It is a beautiful, radiant, light coverage foundation that really just 
evens out the skin tone, plumps up the skin, very natural looking. It works with under every powder that I try it with, over every SPF. I love it so much. But y'all, the true, true champion that this is in my collection and routine is as a concealer. Again, I will cut away to me using it as a concealer, but if you've seen any of my Get Ready With Me videos in the last couple of years, you have seen me use this as that. I have yet to find a concealer that works better under my eyes. This is a light to medium coverage under the eyes. Never does it crease, never does it crack. It works over every corrector that I have. It works by itself if I don't want as much coverage. It is absolutely beautiful. It's not too matte, it's not too luminous. It is just simply a product that was made for my under eyes. And I know a lot of y'all have since used it since I can't shut up about it and actually love it as well. So I'm so glad to hear that because while this is expensive, if you get it, it's a two for one, you can use it as foundation and concealer. If you don't like it as foundation and love it as concealer, it's going to last you forever. So to me, the price is 1000% worth it. And then finally, the last product is the product I have over the Chantecaille, and it is my Jane Ardell Pure Pressed. This is my favorite powder foundation of all time. One of my favorite foundations of all time. It never lets me down. It is the powder product in my collection that looks the most like skin out of anything I own, and I own a lot. I love a good powder foundation but this one does something special on the skin and just looks pretty perfect every single time. I can use it by itself, which I will put a card up for the review that I did where I did use it by myself, by myself, by itself. I didn't have a separate foundation underneath it, or I can use it like today as more of a setting powder to either set a foundation or to add a little bit more coverage on top. It works perfect either way. And I, this is Golden Glow, but I also always keep an ivory on hand because that's what I use to set my eye primer. I will go over my eyebrows if they're a little too dark with ivory. It's just a product that I use multiple times a day, every day. And then finally, let's talk about one fragrance product. And the reason I chose this one is not because it's my favorite fragrance of all time, because it's not, but it's because it is my favorite layering fragrance. It can change any fragrance in your collection to be a little bit different, a little bit more sweet, and always perfect. Anything that I ever mix this with is perfect. And it is Delicia de Marshmallow by Keys Fragrances. This is an indie house. This is how much I've used. I can't believe I haven't used more of it because I use it so much, but you really don't need much, like two sprays and you're good to go. And this is a fluffy marshmallow sweet fragrance that is great on its own, but I'm telling you mixed with other fragrances is to die for. I love mixing it with so many, but right off the bat, Amouage Guidance, so good. Grand Soir by MFK, so good. Um, it's over there, I can't reach for it, but French Flower, that's probably my favorite thing to put this with. Mattier Premier French Flower, oh my goodness. And this together, it's really good with Chanel Coromandel. I'm talking like, it doesn't matter what it is. You stick this on top of it and you will, you'll get stopped. You will get asked what you are wearing. It transforms any fabulous fragrance into a fabulous times infinity in fragrance. There's just something about it. It's a must try. So that is it. That is a culmination of my must have, never be without products in every category of beauty. Let me know if you have any questions. Be sure and check the description box for any discount codes, links, list of what I talked about, and let us know in the comment section what your favorite must have forever be in your routine products are. Thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.